what is going on guys back with another video and in today's video we're going to be she's looking at me no i'm just kidding uh we're going to be doing the first drive in the camaro uh so i installed the cold air intake started the car up and then went to sleep because it was late didn't want to make too much noise this car got significantly louder so yeah i didn't want to make too much noise but we're gonna get the first drive for you guys i'm gonna show my raw impression probably not going to edit that much so you guys know exactly how i'm feeling and what i'm saying and all that stuff like that probably just going to edit out, edit out the dead space obviously but yeah for everybody who's new here this is the legendary brando channel my name is taj we have grown substantially in the last month and i just want to say thank you guys for you know checking out the channel subscribing i know a lot of you people have seen my car around where I live and everything like that and decided to subscribe because my car looks cool or the Mustang looks cool, Camaro looks cool, whichever one it is, thank you guys for subscribing or checking out the channel, subscribing, all that stuff and sticking around. Remember guys, get your legendary burnout merch, links is in the description, I can't even talk today, links are in the description for your legendary burnout merch, get it today while it's still hot, but we got the legendary burnout mask and then we got the legendary, I'm not wearing it today, uh, yeah, <laughs> not wearing my legendary burnout uh, merch right now kind of sad but I usually always wear it though because the fit and finish quality of the shirt amazing but uh we have the Mustang right there hasn't moved and I don't know let's 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 see can you see how many leaves are on that car and how dirty it is that that'll give you a quick representation of how little I've been driving that car recently because of the simple reason, I'm not going to dive into it in this video. That's going to be a whole separate video of me fit diagnosing what's wrong with that car. I already know what's wrong with it, but I got to figure out what's actually wrong with it so, it's, so it stops doing that. But yeah, I installed the cold air intake. It took me, I would say I started at like six. My teeth look really right. Really right. My teeth look really white. But I started at like around 6 p.m., and I finished around like 8.30ish, roughly, mm, roughly, mm, do a little time lapse. I, I probably had the time in the video, honestly, but yeah, it, it did not take me that long. The thing that took the longest was taking out the old uh, coolant reservoir, not coolant reservoir, the uh, washer fluid reservoir, because for some reason, I could not get that sucker out, like, cause you had to like take off the wheel and everything like that, and I didn't want to take off the wheel, so I just like turned to turn my steering wheel very far, and I had enough access to get it out. I had to pull the uh, the washer fluid a certain way to pull it out, and I just couldn't get like a good angle on it, so it took forever to get it out, and took forever to get the bolts out too. So long story short, if I would have took the wheel off, I would have had an easier time, but I didn't have a jack with me when I was installing it, so I was saved myself the time and effort of looking for a jack when I know I don't have one. But yeah, we're gonna get into the first drive, first ride, I've been talking way too long. But yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. This is the first drive after installing the cold air on the the car. Already, I've noticed that it it uh, pops more on diesel, and it's a lot louder too. But yeah, I noticed that it's one, it's a lot louder on startup on everything. And it feels so much faster too. I don't know, it's like, I know it could be a placebo effect or something, but this thing feels like that colder intake alone just woke it up a lot. Like by far woke it up a lot. And you can kind of hear like the tur turbo, wow. You can kind of hear the intake whistle a little bit too, which is kind of weird because like I never thought the intake would whistle, but it actually whistles. It's 
kind of weird because I've never heard an intake whistle before, but this one actually whistles. You can kind of hear it like in like, you know, it senses on the driver's side by the like footwell area, you can kind of hear it down there. Especially like when the roads are clear at nighttime. I'm pretty sure you can hear it better than, I don't know, having tried it this first time driving a car. Yeah, you can hear it. You can hear a whistle when you're like downshifting too. It's really cool, really cool. So I haven't driven it in the rain since the cold air intake is literally like right there, or like right before or right after the um. Well, no, it's sitting inside the uh, the splitter guard or the front 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 bumper splitter. So it's like sitting right in that area, being protected by all that stuff up there. So I haven't driven it in the rain to see if like rain actually like touches it or anything like that see if it gets wet or see if water gets into the engine hopefully not but i mean i probably won't even drive this car in the rain being that i have the mustang too next thing on this list is a clutch for this car because this clutch is slipping bad let me let me just let me look down a little bit nice little car nice little car nice nice i like it but yeah this car has gotten a lot louder after putting on the coder intake and like i thought like adding a coder intake like people were just like over hyping how lot how much louder it will make a car but nope they're not i can barely start this car up at night time now because <laughs> once like it like if i don't drive the car all day like like i did this morning if i don't drive it all day it's pretty loud now, I'm pretty sure I'll put like a comparison of the cold starts if the I know the camera mic like equals out all the um the sound and like a giving setting so I wouldn't be you wouldn't hear a good comparison unless I was like talking in a video while the car was on and I don't even talk during the uh, cold cold start so itself because i'm pretty sure that's that's what it is because the car is not turbo so i don't know why i would do that and it doesn't have v tech on there so i don't, I don't, don't know why i would do that either so the intake does add i think it was like 16 peak horsepower like throughout the curve and i'm not sure how much overall horsepower it would add like at the very top like how much horsepower would make over the stock line probably around like nine or ten but overall overall peak horsepower made um i think like 16 in the curves or whatever so i can definitely feel that like all across i can definitely feel that and the car doesn't even have a tune yet and i i want to get it tuned but i'm waiting to get the long tube headers first for this car before i get it tuned and i'm not sure when i'm going to do that probably no time soon right now because <laughs> Because uh, this car is already as loud as heck. But I know the, two, the long two pedals I'm getting do, does come with high flow pads. So hopefully that keeps the tone down a little bit. And I do have the uh, stock resonators on here as well. So, But the stock resonators are not doing much right now. Because the car is kind of loud. <laughs> I think I'll put the windows down to give a little... Uh, like it throws me in my seat now like before it like it don't get me wrong it used to like kick me a little bit but now it like really throws me in my seat <laughs> but dino says it's making a good you know 10 horsepower more <laughs> which is crazy because like i always thought like coder intakes were not really worth it but now after having one of my own i realized that they are actually worth it because like this car was not as strong and as peppy all around as it is now, which is crazy. I 
again that is the intake and yes i did clean this entire engine bay <laughs> i gotta i gotta go over it again because i left the cover on there just so i can clean the cover but i should have just cleaned the cover beforehand i didn't but well, as soon as i started cleaning it, i was like dang i can't take it off now because the oil cap is holding down the valve uh valve cover not valve cover manifold cover but set the camera down let's get it Video coming on that soon. I promise. When it starts. It sounds a lot different when I rev it. I don't know if I'm just hearing like the engine noise and that, but I revved it a few times off camera and it didn't sound like that. Interesting. But yeah, I'm gonna switch to my other camera because I know this camera quality is booty cheeks. So, uh, and we're back with a better camera. Mm. Yeah, but like I was saying, uh, it sounded different. Why is my camera like zoomed in? Oh, wrong way, wrong way. All right, that didn't help. Anywho. Uh, the car does sound different when I rev it. I don't remember it sounding like that when I was running it by myself before. I did like the initial cold start and everything like that. Because I did start the car up after I was done installing it to make sure everything was okay. Just to check everything, make sure there was nothing wrong. And then the following morning, I did the cold start that you guys saw at the beginning of the video. But yeah, so far, I'm happy with the product. I love it. I'm glad I waited for this product. Why does my lips look like I've been doing crack? Anywho. I'm happy that I waited for this product. Money well spent. Money well spent. I can actually feel. I can actually feel the the horsepower gains or the the difference that the the uh, quarter intake makes. I can actually feel the difference that the quarter intake makes. I love it, but I've noticed that my clutch is starting to slip. Now I'm not sure if that's because I added on the quarter intake and that's what. Um, and that what is what causing you know the horsepower gain and the torque gain that stock clutch can handle that, or it's just that the last person who had this car didn't treat the clutch too nicely. So uh, yeah, I don't know. Get that sorted out soon. Clutch is not a big deal. Not that expensive. Don't really care about it. Pop it in the day. Pop it back out or pop out the transmission. Put in a new clutch. Pop it back in like seven hours maybe. Just gotta find a. Uh, <laughs> lift to do that because i'm not doing that on jack stands i'm sorry that the videos are very delayed <laughs> school's kicking my butt right now and i'm in my last few semesters so i'm really just trying to focus on school right now so the videos will be sparse they'll just be periodically they'll be random I, I was trying to go for every week my last video was like three weeks ago so uh yeah <laughs> but there's a lot of stuff coming for this car really excited really happy just waiting for everything to get shipped because of corona <laughs> Stay waiting on my stuff. Anywho, yeah, if you guys enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, favorite, subscribe, all that good stuff. Really happy with how this first mod turned out, or second mod if you want to call it that, since I did the exhaust first. But happy that this mod turned out well. I'm glad I ain't messing anything up. I mean, couldn't really mess anything up. It's kind of like a given. Right, but yeah, that's the uh, cold air intake. I know dang well I'm gonna have to do some heat wrapping because this pipe is hot to the touch right now like it's really freaking hot so I'm gonna have to do some heat wrap on it make sure that everything stays cool down there but yeah I have to do some heat wrapping on it make sure everything stays cool down there and oh I went to a shadow just so like the temperature stay down and once I get the new headers I'm gonna put header wrap around there to keep everything try to keep at least try to keep everything cool I know AutoZone sells like the heat deflective tape or whatever for it it's not expensive so might as well you no know, splurge on that and get you guys another video out of me doing that and 
hopefully like I can feel a difference maybe 30 minutes into a drive because I won't feel it initially because everything is already cool so yeah <laughs> that wouldn't make sense for me to try to do that already um I may even go to AutoZone right now why not just to check out some stuff yeah if you guys enjoyed don't forget to like favorite subscribe thank you for all the new subscribers who have come in the last month even though I haven't been posting videos we have grown like crazy not grown like crazy I, we have grown like crazy if you guys want the legendary burnout merch go get it i'm going to end the video right here thank you guys for tuning in peace out